Okay, uh, what we're gonna do today, uh, we're gonna cut into the ductwork and install this transaction piece which already was prefabricated from rectangular to round. And you can always buy a stop color and install a stop color, then connect this to that. However, in this case, it's a space limitation. We don't have much room. The idea is this should go here and we're gonna install an elbow here and up and we barely have enough room to put an elbow. A elbow will go directly into this transaction piece and we still have to come about inch and a half towards here to be able to meet the pipe up there. Besides that, you can always make a flanges and screw that in, but the idea is it have to be removable in the future because of the water heater that they can remove the dark work and remove the water heater if it needs to be removed. Uh, in this particular job we don't have room, there is no place, other place to put the furnace and we have to do it. So today we're going to learn how to do that on a dark work with the slips and ducts when you don't have a place to put the dark color on it. This is 7 by 6. case this tag work the connection on this side and you will lose three-eighths of an inch you're not going to be able to bend that so you have to account for that I'm marking that three-eighths and because we're gonna have one inch slip that will bend this way and another one inch there and my duck work was seven inch wide so I have to mark that my all should be two inches smaller than that so I'm gonna mark fix from here this is where it's gonna be I'm gonna use my drive because this is one inch it's a little bit bigger than one inch but it works just fine you can mark there and that's gonna be our cut this is 16, so we need 14 inch opening. You mark your 14. Mm, should be 5 by 14 if we did everything right. It is 5, it is 14. Okay, to start the hole, you can use a step bit, drill a hole and start from there or you can use a flathead screwdriver and okay after opening it here in this case 5 by 14 opening you have to cut this corner on diagonal and it have to be one inch plus two in a square which is about 0.4 1.4 inches that gives you about inch and a half but again usually what I do three quarters of the length of my snips just works fine and it should go in a 45 degree angle compared to any of them something like that Okay, after making this cut, now it's time to make the drives and slips. And here is a caveat. You have to first bend your drive sides, then bend your uh, slip sides. The reason for that, we're gonna bend this at 90 degrees. And later, because my clip bender is only, you have certain sizes, 12, 18, 24. It won't fit because this is a seven. But this is 14 i can slide this later when i'm done i will explain you so the way i'm doing i'm going on my one inch side first going on my one inch side first i am kind of breaking it but not bending as you can see i don't know maybe 15 degrees something like that same thing you do on the bottom this one also needs some maintenance. Just 
just to have this brake line that will make my life easier in the future. Then you switch to the 3 8 side and you go all the way around. Then 180 degrees, same thing on the bottom bits. And there you have it. Now you can go to your one inch side and end this open. And if you look here, this is right at the edge. And when you're keeping this 3 8 on uh, duct connection side, you not loosening this connection and you also air cannot leak. You don't have to do anything on this side. Same thing over here. Okay, here you have to use the duct pliers. However, left mine somewhere. You can use channel locks to do that. Or even you can use it. But it's possible. So on this side, 90 degrees. And there you have it. If I get everything right, it should become a 7 by 16. And we have exactly 16 there, and exactly 7 there. I don't know if you can see. But we are literally then you have to install the slips on this side and drives on this side. So another thing to make your life easy, every time you have something like this, two pieces, install your slip on this piece. It will be much easier to drive in than when you have on a nice side of it. So let's cut the slips. Another thing when you're cutting a sleep and you need multiple pieces in the same length. Don't cut all the way in. You cut that, just leave eighths of an inch, sixteenths of an inch on there. Then you don't bend this way, you bend this way. And you have the same size on this side now. And you can do this over and over. There is cases when you have to cut 10 of them same size. You don't have to use a tape measure. And they are perfectly same size if you can see. Another thing, uh, when you're installing a ductwork, it on a short ductwork, it really doesn't matter. On a small ductwork, it really doesn't matter. But on a longer ductwork, it does make a difference. And uh, with a high, uh, high static pressure ductwork, it really makes a difference. You have to understand that which way goes your airflow. In this case, this is a return. Our air will go from here into there. So this space, in reality, this ductwork should go into it. And depending how you're gonna install your sleep, that, that can be different. So if you look from the top, imagine the ductwork that will go on this side, you want that to be on inside. So in this case, I have to install it this way. Because like I said, you better to install on a piece that have a cut. We're gonna do. Now it's time to cut the drives for this. Uh, with the drives again, you can buy them standard, kind of already prepared, or you can cut your favorite length. Usually I'm making one inch extra on each side. Okay, well set. Later when we connect everything we will seal that. I'm not sealing it now because I'm gonna work around and it will get messy. Usually doing a messy it's the last thing when before you go home. <laughs> and it will arrive during the night. Thanks for watching. Thank you.